Islam is for me because you know throughout my life I've never accepted that Jesus and God is the same I loved Jesus um, you know and, and then when I read that Jesus was um a prophet, a messenger of God, I, I could totally accept that. I wanted to become Muslim and I sort of kind of tested the water a little bit with, you know, some of my family members said, you know, I was taught about Jesus in Sunday school, but then I, I, I was confused that Jesus was God, you know, because I, I learned about God and then I learned about Jesus and then it's like, but it's the same thing and I, I never, I never understood the concept of it. Um, and actually four years whole, older, I had a really powerful dream um, where I actually went to heaven. I, I died in my dream and I went to heaven and um, and I got there and, you know, and I saw the beautiful garden and, and flowers and birds and, and all this kind of thing. And um, I was looking for Jesus to greet me, you know, because obviously from my teachings in Christianity, you know, I, I um, you know, prayed to Jesus and, you know, and, and this sort of thing. And so I was looking for Jesus, but Jesus wasn't there to greet me. And actually the garden was empty where, where I was walking. Um, but an angel came to me and said that it's not Jesus that you need to go to, you need to go to God. And, and in my heart I knew where, where I had to go. I was like walking forward and I had to go to God. Um, and, and I was basically walking. Um, and at that point I woke up and, and, and I still remember, I was four year old and I still remember that dream. And I woke up like feeling all over my body and I was saying to my mum like, am, am I alive? I, I've just been dead, like, you know? And my mum was like really freaked out out by this dream and I told her you know I recalled that I was looking for Jesus I couldn't find Jesus but I was going to go to God um, and um, so my mum actually spoke to the priest about it and he said although he didn't understand the dream that it was a blessing that I had a dream that I actually went to heaven um, so that was a concept that always stuck with me that you know that it, when I died I was going to God I wasn't going to Jesus so um, you know it was uh, it was quite a significant um, part of my journey to Islam. Before I, um, I reverted to Islam, um, I didn't really know that much about it. The only um, perception I had is, is from what I saw in the media. Obviously, it was quite negative, so um, I guess, you know, due to my own ignorance, my, my perception was, was quite negative about Islam. Like, I thought, you know, it was all about jihads and, um, you know, all about violence and this sort of thing. And, and so it wasn't until I actually researched and, you know, looked into, you know, the fact that Islam was a, a religion of peace um, and then when I began to, to meet other Muslims, when I took my shahada, you know, I was really surprised at how peaceful and patient and calm and, you know, what good characteristics uh, Muslims had. Um, so I guess it was then that I realised that the perception I had all my life about Muslims was, was wrong. And I guess now with me being a revert and me meeting, you know, other non-Muslims, you know, and, and I talk to them about exactly what, what Islam means and what my religion means to me, um, you know, and they're surprised. So I think the more people that talk about Islam in, in a positive way, um, you know, the better unfortunately um, like I say just from what you see in the media is, is not always the case of what Islam is about. Obviously since taking my shahada I got to meet uh, you know lots of other Muslims and, and, and they welcomed me with open arms like straight away I felt like I was part of the community they were really really supportive with me um, and, and in terms of my social life um, you know alhamdulillah it's been great um, because um, there's lots of social activities going on you know inside the masjid and out uh, lots of community fundraisers and things like that and, it, and it's just really nice to be part of a community where you know the people are all like-minded you know they're all good people with you know with good good morals and it's you know it, it's really nice to be part of that community Uh, when I was 10 year old, um, my, my, my family home separated, like my mum left and my family home separated, so we had a lot of um, hardships, you know, I was, went from a very secure religious family to, um, I lived with my dad and, and my stepmom who, you know, who weren't really religious. Um, so at that time I, I started suffering from depression, like, you know, coming up to about 13 year old, I started suffering from depression and I, I kind of felt lost. Um, so through that journey, I, I looked. I was looking for something, uh, you know. I was looking for like an answer to, you know, to the problems that I'd got. And so I did a, a lot of searching. Like at school, we did like religious studies, and so I looked into a lot of different religions. Like when I was sixteen, I looked into Hinduism, um, and then I looked into spiritualism. Um, and and I actually married when I was eighteen, um, a son of, of two spiritualist mediums. And um, so you know, from there on, I, I you know I was looking into you know, to that for an answer. And, and my journey took me to Canada, though they were actually Canadians, so I moved to Canada. Um, and my best friend was a Native American. 
So I looked into Native American beliefs and her grandmother was actually a shaman and uh, I spent a lot of time on the Native, um, you know, the Native re Reservation uh, doing sweat lodges, pipe ceremonies and, you know, and I, I appreciated the concept that, you know, the God was the creator and the creator created the universe, but still it wasn't enough for me. Just going once in a while to, um, you know, to the reserve and doing a sweat lodge, it, it just wasn't enough. Um, so basically my circumstances changed. Um, I separated with my husband. And, um, when I was 21 and then I came back to the UK and um, so I, I took with me you know all the beliefs that I'd got from you know my na Native American friends um, but you know I, I kind of let that go and, and then I was still in a period um, of, of not knowing uh, you know what religion I was. I was uh, about 30 and uh, somebody said to me, uh, you know, why have you ever listened to a Quran recital? And I'm like, no, you know, Islam is like something, even though I love Arabic language, like Islam is like something, a religion I've never looked into. So um, the person said to me, well, why don't you just listen to, you know, a Quran recital and see what you think? So basically, I uh, listened to a, you know the first Quran recital in, in Arabic, and I just had a life-changing experience with it. Um, even though I couldn't understand the language, um, it moved me to a way that I was I was elated, uh, but I was in tears. I was like absolutely sobbing, um, and I had a really overwhelming feeling. Um, it, it's really strange, but it was almost as if something entered me you know it, it was that overwhelming you know it, it was like something was inside my body and, and I, I just felt overwhelmed and, and I couldn't understand what it was or why uh, you know why I would feel so moved you know just by listening to the Quran like it, it basically stirred my soul uh, and I was alarmed by it you know I was like why am I having this experience and it was basically from there that I, I bought a Quran uh, in English and I read it front to back I read the whole Quran um, and that, that was my first um, experience with uh, with Islam. It was basically just listening to the Quran and, and actually even when I still listen to it now I have the same feeling where it, it's like it's almost like a vibration that I feel and, and it actually stirs my, my soul and almost hurts my heart. It, Islam has cropped up and I've dismissed it and you know and basically through me being stirred by listening to Quran like and um, you know I decided right I'm gonna read it so I basically just opened the first page and just started reading like uh, Surah Fatih yeah. Um, and you know and basically just read I couldn't put it down I just read and read the Quran um, and I was just first of all I was really surprised um, because I thought Islam was something so different to Christianity I thought Allah was completely different to God um, and and then when I started reading Quran um, I started reading about um, uh, Prophet Isa peace be upon him Jesus uh, Moses uh, Angel Gabriel um, you know and and when I was a child you know all the studies that I did um, I was suddenly reading and, and I was shocked. I was like, oh, okay. I didn't realize Islam was like, you know, it was about this, you know. And um, obviously the concept of there the being only one God worthy of worship, you know, that was the thing to me that, um, you know, was like, yeah, you know, Islam is for me because, you know, throughout my life, I've never accepted that Jesus and God is the same. I loved Jesus, um, you know, and, and then when I read that Jesus was, um, a prophet, a messenger of God, I, I could totally accept that. I wanted to become Muslim and I sort of kind of tested the water a little bit with, you know, some of my family members said, you know, I, I have been reading Quran and, um, you know, and, and I, I want to become Muslim. And um, obviously at the time it was post the 9-11 and, um, you know, basically the, the portrayal in the media was just like, you know, the only thing you learnt about uh, Muslims were, you know, oh, the terrorists and, you know, and all this. So th there was a bit of fear, like within my family and, and with my Myself to you know a certain extent um, and so you know I, I mentioned it to my family and they were basically no don't don't do it it will ruin your life if you become Muslim why would you want to do that um, you know and and at the time I thought yeah you know maybe I, I, I can't I can't do it so I became like a closet Muslim I was like I was listening to Quran in secret 
and I actually ended up in a relationship with an atheist um, and so religion was something in the relationship that I you know was never discussed um, so I used to like in the car I'd listen to recitals of Quran or you know like I had my Quran like hidden away and it was something that was always there in the background and um, but you know throughout my relationship it was you know if I mentioned anything about Islam it was like it's like you know it was totally shunned upon and it was really difficult because it was like I couldn't be the person that I wanted to be and fundamentally in, in the relationship the relationship was flawed because you know if you have different beliefs to somebody like how can you be a life partner with that person it, it just didn't work and um, so my depression throughout that relationship you know um, it got worse and worse because you know I, I was basically trying to be somebody who I wasn't comfortable with being and you know and and the fact that I wanted to be Muslim but the people around me didn't want that for me you know they, they thought it was a bad idea um, and it, it was I was like I was just fighting myself you know for for really for five years you know it was something I wanted to do um, and it wasn't until um, that relationship actually separated and I had, you know, it ended up being quite a violent relationship and um, it was a horrific breakup and it was a point where I should have just, you know, shattered to pieces and uh, I picked up the Quran and I started reading Quran every day, listening to Quran recitals and, and my friends actually commented, you know, well, you, you, you're doing really well, like, you know, you appear to be really strong and, you know, and it was day by day listening to Quran and literally gave me um you know, this strength um, to a point where, um, you know, I was on all these heavy antidepressants. Um, I was like a zombie. I was like falling asleep all the time and, you know, and this this sort of thing. And, uh, you know, through, it was probably about a month of listening to Quran daily. And I just thought, do you know what? I don't even feel depressed anymore. And it, and it is literally through having this time, you know, reading Quran, it, it I felt like it cured me um, to a point where, you know, I thought I don't need to be on the tablets anymore. You know, all sorts of research on the internet um, and then I actually came across you know I, I looked at people's shahadas because I heard about that's how you became Muslim and she took a shahada so I'm like okay right so I watched uh, different shahadas and there was just this one shahada in particular um, where there was a sheikh with a, a British brother who was actually a black brother and he was taking his shahada um, beforehand the sheikh asked um, the, the brother lots of different questions and I'm stood at, uh, at the sink and I'm washing my pots and you know and I'm listening to this and, and I was just like was so moved by the shahada like I ended up in tears you know it was really emotional and all the questions that the sheikh was asking the brother I was thinking yeah I, I truly believe all those things and um, so as I'm as I'm washing the pots like I basically just took my shahada there and then I um, you know I started re like reciting like copying uh, you know what the sheikh was saying and and then that was it so I felt from that moment I was officially a you know a Muslim so it was a it was a real um, you know um, uh, you know it was a real big moment in my life I think there's a lot of people who are doing a lot of soul searching, especially in this, this day and age, you know, it's a time where a lot of people have, have lost themselves, you know, they, they don't really have a purpose in life. And, you know, for people who are actually doing some soul searching and looking into religion, um, you know, with Islam, it's something that, that people fear. Um, but if you take the time and, and open-mindedly look into Islam, you'll see what a practical religion it is. I mean, you know, scientifically, it's proven that, you know, 1,434 years ago, you know, um, it, it was, uh, you know, written how, how babies were born. We only knew that like one, two hundred years ago scientifically. Um, you know, there's so many facts that it's a practical religion, um, you know, and if people look into it with, a, you know, an open mind, um, I think people would be very surprised um, just, you know, what uh, an amazing, peaceful religion uh, Islam is. Um, I basically got a date set um, to take my shahada um, and I was really scared because I never met an imam before, I'd never been to a mosque before um, and uh, I'd, I'd already started wearing hijab at that time which um, was quite a difficult process in itself, um, you know, like breaking it to my family and, um, you know, and work and that sort of thing. So by the time I took my shahada I was already wearing hijab. Um, so I went in and as soon as I walked through the doors at the masjid I felt like I came home. You know, I just felt so welcomed by everybody. I met all the sisters and, you know, they all hugged me and kissed me and, and all this kind of thing. And I took the shahada and 
I've never felt so right in, you know, in basically sat down and saying those words, it was perfect. You know, the moment was just perfect. And I was like, this is the, re this is the start of the rest of my life. It's, it's a new me. I've, I've had a, you know, I had a new break, you know, I've had a chance in life and, and this is it from this moment, like my life changes. And after that, uh, I sort of swapped numbers with the sisters and, and they took me upstairs to the madrasa where they were teaching the children. And, and I stood and prayed Salah with the children, um, which was the first time I prayed Salah in congregation. There's about 40 children. They were all excited because, you know, I was a new Muslim and, um, you know, uh, and I basically stood there praying with them. And um, it was just so overwhelming. I was crying. As I was praying, I was just crying. And I was just like, this is just so amazing. You know, the, the, I can't believe I didn't do this sooner. Islam has basically cured me from being lost. Uh, you know, I was lost and I felt, you know, feel I was guided and I was found. Um, so Islam has given me the capability to beat my depression, to come off antidepressants and be the person that I want to be, um, you know, and better my own character. What more could I want from life, you know, than that? I'm